Hello guys, welcome to this channel Gain Java Knowledge. In this video, we are going to discuss lots of interview questions and answers from RESTful Web Services. This video will help you prepare for the RESTful Web Services interview and help you to understand the concept in the simple and easy way. I have tried to cover all the areas which are necessary for RESTful Web Services interview. So our first question is what are web services? A web service is a collection of open protocols like HTTP protocol and standard use for exchanging data between applications or systems like data exchanging between client and server. So software applications written in various programming languages and running on various platforms can use web services to exchange data between client and server. Our second question is what are RESTful web services? Here REST stands for representational state transfer just like SOAP simple object access protocol which is used to develop web services by XML method and it doesn't uh, and it does not it does not support JSON RESTful web services use web protocol that is HTTP protocol method it supports both JSON and XML in REST architecture, a REST server simply provides access to resources and REST client accesses and presents the resources. Here, each resource is identified by URIs. REST uses various representations to represent a resource like text, JSON and XML. It focuses on system resources and how state of resource should be transported over HTTP protocol to different clients written in different language. So it is language independent. In RESTful web service, HTTP methods like GET, POST, PUT and DELETE can be used to perform CRUD operations. Sometimes interviewer can ask this type of questions. Name the protocol which is used by RESTful Web Services. So answer is RESTful Web Services use HTTP protocol. This serves as a medium of data communication between client and server. HTTP standard methods like GET post, put and delete are used to assess resources in RESTful web service architecture. Now our next question is what is messaging in RESTful web services? Messages are the collection of information about the data. RESTful web services use HTTP protocol to transfer information a client sends a message in form of a HTTP request and server responds in form of a HTTP response. This technique is termed as messaging. These messages contain message data that is metadata. Now the next question is what are the core components of HTTP request and HTTP response? Request core components, first is verb, it includes methods like get, put, post, etc. URI, uniform resource identifier for identifying the resources on the server. 
एच टी टी पी वर्जन एच टी टी पी वर्जन फॉर स्पेसिफाइंग द एच टी टी पी वर्जन फॉर एग्जाम्पल एच टी टी पी वर्जन वन पॉइंट वन रिक्वेस्ट हैडर इट कंटेन्स मेटा डाटा फॉर द एच टी टी पी रिक्वेस्ट मैसेज एज की वैल्यू पेयर्स रिक्वेस्ट बॉडी एट टी टी पी रिक्वेस्ट बॉडी दैट कंटेन्स द रिप्रजेंटेस ऑफ द रिसोर्स इन यूज डिस्पोन्स कोर कॉम्पोनेंट्स रिक्वेस्ट कोड दिस कंटेन्स वेरियस कोड्स विच डिटरमाइन द स्टेटस ऑफ द सर्वर रिस्पॉन्स रिस्पॉन्स बॉडी एच टी टी पी रिस्पॉन्स बॉडी दैट कंटेन्स द रिप्रजेंटेस ऑफ द रिसोर्स इन यूज Now our next question is what is addressing in restful web services uri it stands for unified resource identifier it locates resources that are present on the server for the purpose of hosting web services this is usually done with uri that is unified resource identifier our seventh question is what are http methods supported by rest as we know it supports multiple operations like get put post delete options head next question is can we use get request instead of put to create a resource so our answer is no we can't use because get verb should only have view rights so next question what is the meaning of stateless web services with advantages and disadvantages restful web service should not keep a client state on the server is called statelessness behavior it is the responsibility of the client to pass its content to the server and then the server can store this content to process the client's further request for example session maintained by server is identified by session identifier passed by the client now let's discuss advantages of statelessness web services can treat each method request independently any previous communication with the client and server is not maintained and thus the whole process is very much simplified if any information or metadata used earlier in is required in another method then the client sends again that information with http request http protocol and rest web service both shares the feature of statelessness now what are the disadvantages of statelessness in every http request from the client the availability of some information regarding the client state is required by the web service next question is what is a resource rest architecture treats every content as a resource these resources can be text files html pages images just like the object instance we have learned in object oriented programming language in the same way resource is defined as an object of a type which can be an image html file text data videos or dynamic business data there are varieties of representation formats available in order to represent a resource some most common are given below json xml html next is what are the key characteristics of rest api first is rest is stateless therefore the server has no state or session data second with a well applied rest api the server could be restarted between two calls as every data is passed to the server interviewer can ask these type of questions mention which 
markup language can be used in restful web api so answer is json and xml are the two markup languages that can be used in restful web api so our most important question is what is the difference between put and post the major difference between the put and post method is that the result generated with put method is always same no matter how many times the operation is performed on the other hand the result generated by post operation is always different every time put puts a file or resource at a particular uri and exactly at that uri if there is already a file or resource at that uri put changes that file or resource if there is no resource or file there put makes one post sends post sends data to a particular uri and expects the resource at that uri to deal with the request the web server at this point can decide what to do with the data in the context of specified resource put is a dampotent meaning invoking it any number of times will not have an impact on resources and post is not a dampotent meaning if you invoke post multiple times it keeps creating more resources next question is what is jax ws and jax rs both jax ws and jax rs are libraries or apis for doing communication in various ways in java jax ws is a library that can be used to do soap communication in java and jax rs lets you do the rest communication in java next is what are http status codes define few status code with meaning http status codes basically are the representation of the status of the task that has been performed on the server with the mode of some codes every code has their own meaning some of the http status codes with meaning are as follows code 200 success code 201 successfully created code 204 no content in the response body code 404 means this indicates that there is no method available next question is what do you mean by a dampotent adempotent operations means their result will always same no matter how many times these operations are invoked put is adempotent this type of services will be used when we do online payment which type of web services methods are to be adempotent put and delete types of methods are adempotent Next question is what is caching caching is the process in which server response is stored so that a cached copy can be used when required and there is no need of generating the same response again this process not only reduces the server load but in turn increase the scalability and performance of the server only the client is able to cache the response and that too for a limited period of time a server response should have information about how a caching is to be done so that a client caches response for a period of time or never caches the server response cache control is the primary header to control caching next question is what are the best practices for caching always keep static contents expiration date less than 3 days 
never keep expiry date too high and the last important question is what is the purpose of http status code http status code are the standard codes and refers to predefined status of task done at server for example http status 404 states that requested resource is not found on server and you can see multiple http status status codes supported by restful web services api